This information on hose assembly applies to all park crimp machines. First, choose the type and size of hose you need for your application. Then select the proper fitting series, size, and configuration required for each end of the hose. Next, to determine the proper length of the hose, you first need to know the cutoff allowance of your fittings. Find the part number on the shell of the fitting you've selected. Then refer to the Parker Hose Products Division 4400 catalog, or go online to parkerhose.com and use the part search tool. The B dimension you see listed will identify the accurate cutoff allowance. After you know the fitting's cutoff allowances, you need to subtract them from the desired overall length of your assembly. Let's say, for example, your overall assembly length should be 32.5 inches. You found that one fitting's cutoff allowance is 1 inch, the other one's allowance is 1.5. When we subtract the total 2.5 inches from the assembly's overall 32.5 inches, we see that the hose must be cut to be 30 inches in length. Also, make sure the saw blade is sharp. Use the adjustable pins on the saw to bend the hose to reduce friction. And don't push the saw handle too hard. Let the blade do the work of producing a square cut. The next step is to make sure you bottom the hose in the fitting. This calls for marking the hose and pushing it all the way up to the mark. More tips on bottoming the hose can be found in the introduction segment of this program. When you're ready to learn more about your park crimp machine, return to the main menu to make your selection. As you watch the demonstration, keep in mind that we've specially painted certain components of our crimpers to make it easier to follow the information. Thanks for watching and enjoy working with the park crimp difference.